Gynecomastia is an enlargement of the mammary glands in men and can have a variety of different causes. What they are and how to get rid of gynecomastia we tell you in this video. So watch it to the end and learn all about bitch tits, which can be a pretty big hassle for affected men. One cause of gynecomastia that is widely common are steroids such as testosterone, trembolone, and dianabol. The reason is that such steroids increase the level of testosterone, the male sex hormone in the blood, and part of it is converted into estrogen, the female sex hormone, by the so-called aromatase. This can promote the growth of fatty tissue on the chest in men who are already prone to bitch tits. British IFBB pro and YouTuber Josh Bridgman, among others, has had experience with this and talks about the causes and solutions in one of his videos. But steroids are not the only cause of gynecomastia. It is also normal to have gynecomastia during puberty, for example, due to hormone changes in adolescence. However, it normally goes away over the years, by the age of 20 at the latest. The same is true for men at an advanced age, as the fatty tissue becomes older with age. Less and less natural testosterone is produced, in both adolescents and older men, gynecomastia is even more intense, especially when overweight. However, besides steroids and natural causes of gynecomastia, some diseases and genetics can also be responsible for it. For example, through the inheritance of gynecomastia, various kidney and liver diseases, and also an anorexia and cancer. Furthermore, medications such as antidepressants, antibiotics, and extreme alcohol or drug use can also cause changes in hormone metabolism in men, which can then result in gynecomastia. So what can be done about gynecomastia once you have it? That depends on the cause. With steroids and other performance-enhancing substances, for example, it's a good idea not to take them in the first place or to go natural if you're already taking them. And if you do absolutely want to take steroids, always make sure you do a complete post-cycle therapy with drugs such as clomiphene or tamoxifen. Some enhanced athletes also use aromatase inhibitors, such as exemestane, anastrozole, or letrozole during a cycle. However, we clearly advise you to stay natural, as this is by far the best for your health. Otherwise, the treatment of gynecomastia is primarily based on the causes, such as correcting the hormone levels through a change in diet, or also through a variety of medications. If all this does not help, surgery is the last solution, but is also only recommended if someone wants to do it because of aesthetics. By the way, no treatment is necessary for pubertal and old age gynecomastia. This is because after puberty gynecomastia usually disappears and at an old age, it is simply normal. If you are already older and still want to do something about your gynecomastia, then change in diet, medication, or surgery can be a solution. However, it is best to discuss this with the doctor you trust. After all, they have the most expertise in this area. That's it again for today. If you like the video, share it with your friends.